All right, Mike, Ginger out and about. We're in the woods, but we can't stay. Some of the lads are camping out tonight. They're not here yet, but so me and Craig, old bushcrafter, we just popped down, collected a bit of wood for them, got them some, fire bits sorted out. We're gonna say hello, have a chat and a catch up. Obviously, we haven't been able to catch up over over COVID properly, so we're gonna have a catch up with them. But unfortunately, we've both got family family commitments today, so it's just a, a fleecing visit. But we'll do a little bit of video, a bit of catching up, a bit of chat. I'll catch up with you guys because I ain't done that in the woods for a long time. Shall we call it not a day camp? Not a day camp. Very camp, but not a day camp. Right, so we'll get going. Keep keep collecting some wood for the lads for when they get here. So they've got, got a nice camp to walk in. So I'll bring you back in a bit. Look at it. Just look at it. Craig, how much do you wish we were staying? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It feels... I almost wish we weren't here now, but we'll make the most of it. Make the most of it. Right, catch you in a bit. Brews on the go. Good old Stanley Cook pot. Best pot known to man. Just a little, little cheap old jobby. Gas. Lightweight titanium thing. I think they're about six quid or they used to be off Wish or Amazon or something. Waldo Cup. Ration pack spoon. And can you beat it? The good old stew open all. Beautiful night this. Someone's done well. Get it out. There we go. Where are we? Right, so I've smashed my rear facing camera on my phone. So until my new phone comes, I'm stuck to the front facing, so it might be a bit dodgy on the old video in today, but this is his what he did. Look. Look at that. What a stunning one of a kind. Up and up. Yeah. I don't know if you can see these. He's got the the acid etching on the blade. Lovely. I think it, I believe it's a number seven. Nice. Right. We we'll get this brew done. The lad should be his own. Got big pile of wood behind us that'll probably last them 20 minutes Craig found the chains and stands happy days bring you back Calm and extreme, good for up to plus two. If you know, you know. Right, so, lads have joined, haven't they, look? Go, Lee. How are you doing? Ray. Diggity. Diggity. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about, catching up with the boys. I know we can't stay, but once you get in here, it's just gutting. It's gutting that you can't stay, but family first and that, always been our motto. So, I'm going to put you away and we're just going to chat some shit for a bit. So, now what you need to hear. Catch you in a bit. Oh, the molster as well. The molster. Smile, Molly. Bless. Right, I'm getting sad. Getting sadder and sadder and sadder. Midday pack. It's wrapped up. Big Marky T, setting up his front line. Oh, 
Go on, eh? Jeb off. Setting up his front line. Where's Banshee? Set up. I won't lie. It's getting me down. <laughs> I am so jealous right now. But, family first. Do you have a question, that motto? <laughs> Starting to question my motto. <laughs> Starting to question my motto. So we went and did, before the lads got here, we, I think I shall, collect some firewood. For anybody who doesn't know about how, where, why you get fat wood, it's because it's free. Don't go buy it off eBay. Don't buy it off Amazon. Don't go and go outdoors and buy fire sticks. If you're going to do all that, go to your local Wilco's or Asda or Pound Shop. Buy yourself some fire lighters. Because if you're going to go buy natural fire lighting equipment, it's pointless, isn't it? It's pointless. So, what you do is you go find a down pan, you kick the rottenness out of it, and you find its core. Best way to find is any branches pointing down on a downed pan. So any branches still looking down, that's where all the natural resin will drain to. It'll all drain in to them, them limbs. Give them a good kick off, off your rotten areas, and you'll end up with stuff that looks like that. Golden red. This is a full fatwood vein. If you haven't got the facility to go collecting big stuff like this, like I say, kick the limbs off it. One piece like that. I mean, if you're out every week, it'll last you a year. But when you kick the hell out of a rot on it, you'll find stuff that looks like this around it. Now, if you chip into these, you'll get full veins going right down there. Probably not as rich as what's in the limbs, because it all naturally drains down. But please, go have a look. Go do a bit of foraging and go find it. Find a bit of birch bark. Find your fat wood. And you've got what you'll pay a fortune for on eBay. Like I say, if you're going to go eBay, you're going to pay six seven eight quid for some fat wood go pound shop buy some pound shop fire lighters because you're not doing what it takes to light an actual fire so right rant over save yourself some money buy some fire lighters or get out and do it yourself i'll catch you in a bit right that's me and craig's day come to an end unfortunately the jealousy has kicked in and I've spat my dummy out and go now <laughs> But, it's been nice to catch up with lads again. Definitely. Awesome. Awesome, and we'll see you under some some material very soon. It might be metal material, because I love it in the van. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you under some type of material very soon. Right, thanks. If you've watched, as always, think about subscribing, think about pressing that bell icon and all that jazz. I'll catch you in a bit. Right, lads, thank you. Catch you next time.